What's up y'all, Elijah from Kendama, and I'm here with another Kendama video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I have a new setup, as you can see, no more black background, new era of Elko Kendama. I have moved and this is what you're gonna be seeing for now on for the videos. I still haven't figured out unboxings though. Today's gonna be my Kendama collection. Because I moved, all my Kendamas are everywhere. So that means no better a time than now to do this thing. It's gonna be broken down by brand, by the Ken, cause some of the Tamas are different from the Ken brands. And then there's some miscellaneous stuff, which like don't have like at least more than two to three of Damas from that company. So yeah, it's gonna be broken up kind of like that. A lot of these Damas I have gotten for free even before I did these videos, cause I was from like Instagram contests when I was coming up in like, like mid 2010. So like 2016 and 2015. I entered like almost every single Instagram contest I saw and I won, not all of them, but I won a lot of them. When I started working, I ended up buying a little bit of Kendamas and as I started working more, I ended up buying some Kendamas and as I did the YouTube thing, a lot more companies reached out and wanted to send me stuff. So this is a compilation of all that stuff. Enough of me talking, you came here to see some Kendamas. Let's go see some Kendamas and check out their history and why I have them. So first off, we got Kendama USA. These are in no particular order. I'm just gonna grab from the box I have and we're gonna go. First thing I have is a Gold Flake TJ Colesnick mod right here. First up, I have this TJ Colesnick Gold Flake mod at one of our local jams. Someone had this and I yanked it in one of my videos. This thing's pretty cool. Gold Flake TJ mod on the original Kusa Kaisen Ken. So that's how you know it's old. I got this NKR 2016 Dama. It is messed up. The rubber paint is unrubberizing. It has like this white film over the dark blue paint. Birch Kaizen Ken, which was crazy because there weren't a lot of Birch Kaizen Kens. And then it has the Kids Ken logo and like NKR logo on it. This thing is pretty, pretty sweet. Next up, I have this Kusa Classic Tribute Shape. They did weird stuff with the Kusa Classic. The Kusa Classic had so many different iterations, but it was on Birch and it was durable as heck on this really slippery paint and the tiniest bubbles you could ever imagine right there. Colin got this signed by a couple people he did a short film for and the biggest signature that I really appreciate is Jimmy Wong. I don't know if you guys know Video Game High School, but Video Game High School is one of my favorite YouTube web series back in the day. A Jimmy Wong signature is on here, and then there's some other people, and those people are cool. Jimmy Wong signature is here, and that's amazing. Got a fresh OG, the first iteration of Dave Mateo's Pro Model, just fresh. Uh, love you, Dave. Rest in peace, Dave. I had to keep one unboxed. Not gonna ever sesh it. Just gonna stay in here. Next Dama up I got is a Kusa Jet, and this is on a Sweets Kush. I got this during NACO. I don't know if you guys saw my NACO video haul vlog. That was in there. This thing is super awesome jets one of my favorite shapes to play super chunky that's okay though it plays so good i just get over it but i've been playing this one and this one's super fun cooks custom kaizen 1.0 so i've been beaten by kelvin wong many times in my life well a handful of times the first time kelvin beat me was not in a freestyle or i guess last year the first time kelvin beat me was cooks custom contest now that was something Kusa did for one of their, their Kanama artists and they would host it every year. And the person who won got to design their own Dama that would get sold on the website. And I got third place uh, for that edit. And it's taken down, I think, cause of copyright, which kind of sucks. This is what I won. This is pretty cool, fully painted. He had like pretty decent, like clear, which is super fun. It was sticky and it kind of chipped, but I keep it as a trophy Dama. I keep it as a trophy Dama to remember I got beat by Kelvin Wong so long ago. Pink Kaizen 1.0, first Kaizen 1.0 I ever got. This thing is super thrash. The paint on this thing is rubbing off and it is crazy, crazy how Full Beach was the thing and now Full Maple is now the standard and we would freak out about Maple like when Alex Smith dropped his Maple Pro model. These things were it back in the day. The silk paint was nice when it was on and um, the shape was cool because Kusa didn't do stupid metal thing through the stick anymore so yeah this was cool one of my favorites right here this used to be like a warehouse ex exclusive or something but this is a kaizen shift slim i think a shift slim this is one of my favorite shapes honestly it had just like the thinnest like sword but it had such nice cups such a cool tama too like this tama design just the primary colors all around is just super sick and i think i got this during a black friday sale and as a surprise because i ordered a five cup azora and they threw this in for free when these just came out so i was hyped Ooh, this is this is a nice one a natty kaizen craft uh 2.0 plus these things were so fun to play i think in like kwc like 2015 or 2016 Everyone on Kusa would just get this Ken and slap on a sticky chrome Tama and everyone competed with that and they all rocked it. I know Logan definitely played that setup, but this thing is super sick, fun shape to play even today just because it's bigger. The cups are small, so compared to, you know, K 
Kendama today, but this thing is super duper dope. Got that Colin Sander Pro model from 2014. This thing is amazing. This thing's been through a lot and now it has gummy, sticky, my fingerprints are embedding into the clear. Um, so that's how sticky and gross this thing is. I don't know what happened to it, but you can see it's pretty crazy. The fact that he had an resort string on it, what a G. And the Kaizen 1.0 shape on some of the best tracking at the time, super underrated. Wow, my hands are sticky now. And then some like bird designs and a bunch of different interesting designs. I used to think this was the ugliest one and then it became my favorite one. So this one is sick as heck. This one is a really important phenomenon to me. This is a, a Kusa classic, one of their earlier iterations of the Kusa classic shape. Full birch, this thing was destroyed. The stuff that we used to play with is crazy. But this actually was my sister's Kanama who passed away last year. So I'm keeping this forever. And it just happened to be that her Kanama was a Kusa classic. I ended up just playing it as little brothers do, but she did play with this one. So this one is going to be special and kept forever. This was kind of an interesting setup. This one's a Turner Thorn 2012 Pro Matama on a Kaizen 1.0 Cherry Ken. So Cherry on Cherry. It's nice. It clacks and it has a small bevel. This deep purple, uh, you cannot track it for any anything on this thing. It's okay. Uh, small bevel, dark color on dark wood. Good combination for tracking. Just a fun setup with, you know, some extra stuff I had laying around. Next one I have is a Mateo Plus. This one's super amazing and super dope. It's a little faded and not perfect condition, so I play it sometimes. Some purple string on it. Originally came with a red one. But this one, the silk held up on it really nicely. You know, just trying to get all the Dave stuff I can because Dave's a really important person to me. Sack native. Did a bunch of stuff for Kanama. I was fortunate enough to like see him consistently towards the end of his life, which is really awesome. This is really funny. Oh no, Austin Bachman won the Kandama Syndicate sweepstake thing that they did when they were shutting down. And he got one of these and I was looking for one of these for the memes because people were killing it on tributes. And he happened to have an extra roster tribute that he was not going to do anything with. And he sent it to me and that was freaking awesome. So I have one of these as a meme. And in 2021, I think this was my Christmas video. Yeah, tributes with the pinhole through it and really good lunar balance like actually you know i think this one had okay lunar balance but yeah that's actually that's pretty decent and is a nice trip down memory lane for sure this is a natty kusa uh, kaizen 1.0 painted by a friend which is really really cool just a natty has some like koi fish on there which is pretty sick which is pretty dope and then just all black hen without the cups painted so this one's just a display piece super cool piece of art by my friend and i really appreciate them for doing it i just have a random kusa i like this little one a lot because it does this and uh it's hickory so it ended up making a lighter shape on other woods heavier because it's hickory Ooh, i got that translucent kusa 1.0 with the sassafras tama which were light for no reason and such a bad decision. <laughs> and I got the Kusa Birch 1.0 Kaizen Ken. That, that Ken Lab silk string, you know what I'm saying? Sack represent. That Ken Lab silk string when silk string was still a thing. It's a bunch of fraying, but the fade is pretty sick on it and matches the Tama. These things are super icy, but they were fun to play and do spike tricks on them and cup tricks back in the day. So this one's super fun. Oh, this is a perfect one to end it off on. The Kusa section. This is the Logan Tossed Out Pro model. Got it from him in person. This thing is so sick, repping the Kings. Such a clean colorway. This guy, yeah, get this guy a second pro model, like right now. You see that face? This face needs to be on a different Kendama. It needs to be on a different Kendama. Jero, make it happen, because Logan deserves it. That's it for the Kusa section. Let's go on to the next section. Next up, we've got Analog Kendama. They haven't really, they didn't really do too much last year, but at the end of the year, they did their Black Friday sale on drops and dope damas. I have a bunch of Kendamas from them just from over the years from Baldo, Baldo sending them to me and me doing videos on them. And I've bought a couple too on my own just because I want to get some of these dope namas that we're releasing. Let's get into it. First up, we have a Cherry 2021 analog on a, ooh, this is a cool Tama. I got this at NACO at the sweet shop when they were just, you know, selling the, the prototype, extra stuff, whatever, the B-grade stuff. And this is a sticky paint Wisteria Tama, which is super sick, and it's cherry wood. They ended up dropping, I think, Ratio and Kush and on beach tamas, but this is a cherry tama, sticky paint, with stereo tama on a analog can. So this one's a super dope kendama right here. Next up, this is my, my pride and joy right here. I played this quail so long. It's a 2021 shape. Baldo sent this to me like a long time ago, like maybe two years ago, 2021. I competed with this thing a lot and this thing is beat and it has OG brick clear. Yeah, this thing is pretty darn nasty right there. But the analog 2021 shape is one of my favorite shapes like ever in life. And this one was just super balanced for lunars and slings. You cannot go wrong with how clean this Dama looks. It's such a clean looking Dama. So yeah. Oh, I got a unicorn right here too. 
This one is again a 2021 I got at the same time as that other Dama. Just such a good wood colorway and Baldo sent this to me for a video. You can check that video out whenever you want. Such a cool setup. I actually did this setup for a Kendama Depot video. I was in love with the 2020 shape when it came out and I wanted to try Rhino Clear for Kendama ISR. And I did both those things, got a weight match, did a whole video on it and it was super cool to do that video. Um, it has some crazy grain on it too. Like this shape is actually, the shape's still pretty good by today's standards, which is awesome. And I just freaking love this Kendama a lot. This is a really cool kendama one of my favorite kendamas in 2020 i played this thing all of 2020 it was such a balanced 2020 squab and it still is it's still lunar's really crazy I honestly don't remember what it's called but it's a cool colorway it has a little sun on the top and stuff which is really cool and it has just just like the sunset like this kendama is so pretty another dama i bought from analog kendamas is this untitled on the c shape rest in peace the c shape i love this shape with all my heart and i also love Love, love, love the untitled, just the cream on the black. You can't go wrong with it. And this E-shape I jammed super hard. Such a good Kendama right here. Got a 2021 and a half, I think, whatever Baldo did with that. But we got the Kuroboto or the uh, new pig shape right here, which is super sick. And it is on a Purple Heart spliced 2021 Ken. Kind of just throw my uh, Snarkle Tamas on anything and just have people play with them. And it's super dope because people rip them. This is a dope setup right here. Next up, I got a 2021 on a Kendama IS are rhino clear this thing is super heavy and sick and i got this from my man brandon from sac he was selling it for dirty cheap i recently got this you guys hopefully have seen the video this is the squab 2023 shape which is super dope has that brick clear on that really awesome colorway i love the colorways they chose for that round of damas and it has all the big cups lunar's crazy and feels super awesome bricked by adrian Awesome shapes by Baldo, all the good stuff. So yeah. Analog Truffle. I love this Kendama with all my heart. And this one was actually repaired by AJ. There was a big chip when this was shipped back after I sold it to someone and they there's a little mix up with the, the cell. There's still, you could still tell where AJ cut the wood and then where AJ fixed it. And it is crazy, but I love the truffle. It's such a just fun, fat shape. You can just see how big this thing is. Like this thing is just humongous. This right here is super duper dope. This is a gnome, whatever the first version of the gnome was, and it's in Hickory. I have it on this Kayaki Spiffy Toys, Spiffy Clear Tama, and I love Spiffy Clear. I wish I had more than one, but I do not have more than one. It's just this one, but this one's a dope setup. Thank you, Spiffy, and thank you, Baldo, for this, Ken, when I bought it. This right here is the Gnome, the 2023 Gnome, and this thing is so sick. I love the way this thing plays. The lineup from Analog, I just wish they'd released it earlier. The lineup was crazy. The sticky paint from Analog is always good. The OG sticky paint from China, because this is... I, I don't know what they did. I think it's the way they decide to do their layers and stuff, but it's always so good. And this can is just really freaking fire. So yeah, awesome, awesome stuff from Analog and Dom right here. Random 2020 can, but it has like really shallow cups in it. And I think it was a B grade or something. And Baldo sent me new cups, which was really cool. But I don't know what I should do with this. Should I send it to AJ and have him cut the cups and do something crazy? Bamboo pattern, purple heart maple splice thing, the peanut butter gel, whatever he was calling it. I got this in the last unboxing. I need to find a can because this thing is heavy but that's okay. But this thing is super awesome. I love the 2B with all my freaking heart. I like, I love that shape so much. So yeah, this thing is super duper sick. Got that 2019 satin clear, that rubber, super nice 2019 squab. This was revolutionary for analog. This is the first shape I feel like really popped off for them and played super well with really big cups. So yeah, I had to get one on Facebook on FKC just so I could complete the squab collection. So this thing is super dope. The analog troll, the first version, I got this, I think it was like the first kind of video I did with Baldo back in like 2020, I think, which is crazy because it's a long time ago. It's on that booger, whatever they call it's colorway, but I've always loved this, the satin paint from analog. They always did it right. And also just the Ken, which is big. And honestly, one of the best performance Kendamas, like when you're showing someone a Kendama, best performance Kendama out. So uh, they also have a second truffle, which is even better than this one. I don't have it, unfortunately, but yeah, this Kendama is super duper sick right there. Last but not least, my favorite Kendama that from Analog, the 2B on this Shibui Tama. I competed with this a bunch of times last year. I won AM at SLC with it. I competed with this thing a bunch of times last year and it did me very well and I trust this so much. Uh, I've went through two 2Bs on this Tama and this Tama is holding up. Shibui paint is one of the craziest paints ever. It's just so durable, but it doesn't do well when your hands get sweaty. So that's the only thing. But yeah, this is actually a Ken that I bought off of Bryce 
because uh, my other 2B can chipped in the base cup and I was going to compete. I needed a fresher one and he sold this to me for a good price. So awesome 2B setup, awesome just setup in general, means a lot to me. And I, this thing, like the other analog setup, has been through so many things with me. So I love this Kendama right here. Next section we got is NLK. NLK is one of my favorite brands. I love Jacob so much. He's been so nice to me and love when he sends me video messages because he doesn't want to text. But, uh, and I actually do love that. I appreciate that, Jacob. This is the Gucci mod that I got. They didn't send this to me. I bought this. And this thing is super sick. Just an awesome design. Pink, super sick. The purple heart on the grunt shape, which is also a pretty good shape. And overall, just an awesome kendama. I, yeah, it's super duper dope. On the new China Sticky, one of their first drops with the new China Sticky. Such a pretty kendama right there. What the heck? This next thing I have is a sapper. And I love these sappers so much. I had Kelly burn this when I met them for the first time at NACO in 2022. And that was just such like cool detail on this tama right here. I did a little Instagram reel for it but yeah this time is one of my favorites and it has you know elmo in the cup i got the elmo shirt on you know what i'm saying and it has my sig on it and stuff but just such a cool dama and i love playing this dama oh and it's on the depot sapper thing so yeah oh and it also has rad clear and rad please make more clear because i miss your clear and your clear is really good. Got another sapper right here. This is the Woodline V4, I think. And I got this before they dropped it, which is cool. I got this from Miguel in a trade because Miguel got second at LVKO, which was really, really cool. And I got third and he played a lot of soul back then before he got sponsored by Locked. So I had a soul that I really didn't need because I have a bunch of soul kendamas and we traded this and I put it on the LVK Otama that I bought, the Rhino one. One of the coolest event Tamas, by the way, like this thing is like heat. You cannot tell me this thing is not heat. That thing is fire. They actually like weighted pretty well too, uh, but this is just a fun one to play every once in a while and super sick Dama from NLK. This is a sapper I got from Battle of the Border 2022, which is super sick. It's on a lofty crap Tama and I think whatever clear came out before Apex, this was the one and it's like super gummy and it was super clean too. Like this one is probably one of the cleanest lofty crafts I have. It has like this really nice sparkly blue on it and it has like these white like speckles and stuff It's just like such a good Tama like this is probably one of the best lunar Kens in general like not even for a sapper, but just like for a lunar can like a kendama like it's just It just sits super nicely and it's pretty crazy. So yeah, that's my NLK collection next up is serial kendama now these are not all my serial Ken slash kendamas because during this move I had other kendamas in places they shouldn't have been, and now I got to go find them. So that will come in a very later part once I'm finished looking through all that stuff. But here's the bulk of the serial stuff I have. First off is this really cool, cool Tama design that I designed with Kelly Love Art before I was sponsored by Snarkle Rocks. This one's inspired, actually, this is so cool. I have the kendama here. This one was inspired by this Dama right here which is a Steez Kendama. It was inspired by this Dama right here. And it was really just like a whole thing about like Kendamas I played with, like this is one of my first Kendamas, bringing them back to life and putting like a meaning to them. So this one had like broken glass on it to represent like the struggle that you face like when you play Kendama and stuff. And it's on our Snorkel Rocks collab with Serial, the V3s. So it has just like these awesome splices at the bottom with Wenge. So that is super sick. And this uh, Gummy Clear from Ohana Kendama, even though my other one's pretty messed up, this one's the better one out of the two. And what I've played so far is pretty cool. It's just my other one aesthetically is kind of messed up. So that's the only thing. Next one, I freaking love this setup right here. This is a Serial Ascent 2 that I got in a trade with Trissy B. Shout out my boy Trissy B. But this thing is super sick. It has an Evo Turn Tama with Ghost Clear on it. It has some like just stuff uh, painted, hand painted by Tyler on there with a bunch of squids. Tracking on this thing is kind of impossible, but that's okay because the design is sick. And then at the Snorkel House during NACO weekend last year, he did this. There's a video on my Instagram about this, so that is super cool. Awesome Ascent 1. This was the first Ascent, and I actually really enjoyed the Ascent on my second pass through on this. Next up, I have this another Ascent. This is my first Ascent that I played 28 tricks later with in 2023. And this thing was an interesting. <laughs> Bamboo splices are just a very interesting thing to have in Kendamba, especially with this rosewood and the way it balances out. It just wasn't a good representation of what this shape could do. The maple one was a better experience. This Ken was a very weird experience and had me feel very mixed about the Ascent. Besides that, it was a cool splice. <laughs> Here's another Ascent that I have, and this is the Paperweight one. This 
Ken weighs like 146 grams by itself, and it's on a durable Kanama Depot Adrian Painted Tama that I won from LVKO. Uh, so it's got that AE clear, which is super sticky and is gonna handle the beating it gets from this really heavy Ken. It's a really big shame that these were so heavy. The cereal is now using those specs as splices in the woods, which is really cool, but I just really want to complete one of these that's light enough. That would be so awesome. Next up, I have this April Fools. This was such a cool idea because it made my, one of my favorite shapes from Cereal Kingdom is even better with the double big cup. So that's super awesome. I remember raving about this when they messaged me about it. I was like, dude, yes, please give me two big cups on this cereal. Kendama cereal shape, the hybrid two, that is one of my favorite shapes. It says this is not a Ken on the Tama, just like such an awesome design overall. Let's make more double big cups. Controversial, right? Ha ha ha. This is my first hybrid two I got in 2022. Uh, it has the run one logo right there. I don't know if you can really see that, but it also has a Oken Revo clear when Revo was OP on the first drops. And it has like that super cool textured pattern on it, which I love a lot. This hybrid two, I competed at a couple different things. I think I swapped from this back and forth at Nako, the one, the one I went to. And then I think I competed at battle 2022 with this thing. So this thing is also one of my like comp setups that I trust very, very well. And this thing Lunar is like a monster. Like it's like, <laughs> it is so dumb. And also one of the reasons that I fell in love with the Hybrid 2 shape. So super awesome setup. I make some cool setups. What can I say? Last but not least, the Ascent 2 from Serial Kanama, the newest serial that is out. Uh, this is on a new Dama, new Clear Tama, which I'm enjoying a lot. New Clear is pretty sick. Now I just need to figure out how durable it is because I've been playing it. And I'm trying to figure out if this thing's an appeal or not. So we're gonna figure that out. This Ascent 2 is super interesting. It is very, very different from what they have done this far and kind of just pushes the limits of what you can do legally at KWC, depending, I mean, if, even if they're checking. But very interesting shape. I'll get a review out on this and a uh, super sick setup. Uh, Lunar is crazy and is a fun, chunky juggle can flip shape. So the Ascent 2 from Serial Canal, which is super sick. Next up, we got the GT collection, which is actually pretty substantial. I didn't know how many GTs I had until now. So let's check them out. First GT I have, I gotta keep it proper, GT1 on a Cherry Tama. This is a conglomerate of like different things I got. Oh, actually I got this GT1 from Dave. Dave was just giving out a bunch of his free stuff. This was just one of the things in the box and so I didn't have a job at the time and I never had a GT before. So I was like, oh, GT. So I grabbed it. And then I got this from a homie in sack, uh, Cherry Tom. And there's like some ink stains on it or something. But this is how they actually sold it. The birch on the cherry. I ended up completing the setup from two separate people, which was really, really cool. I just got that OG Tiomod on that old GT2 TC shape, I think is what it call it's called. I got this during battle, the battle that he won. So that's the reason I got it because he won that freestyle crazy. Just such a cool design. It has like the ridges and stuff and it has like the best tracking on a Ken ever. Like when I'm lunar flipping and I see that when I'm lunar flipping, it's like the best lunar flip tracking ever. And also some of the best tracking on this Tama too. Like that is such a sick Tama right there. You cannot tell me that this Tama is not sick. I did a uh, 28 tricks later, 2022 with this right after battle, which was super sick. Yeah, not my favorite shape actually, but such a cool looking Dama. Like I set that all aside because it was such a cool looking Dama. So yeah. Awesome right here. I got this two bears. When two bears were still on GT, there's one of the other slinging gods. There's Sling Shady and there's two bears. You need to know those two people. But this is his GT prospect mod when they were doing that. This was super sick. I used to think this was the ugliest splice out of all of them, but this ended up being one of my favorite splices. And I ended up getting it on a, a bunch of GT Ash Tamas on like this FKC marketplace thing. Bryce, Bryce Nelson was selling this Ken for like dirty cheap. So I completed the setup and it is super duper sick. And I do my slings on it and I feel like two bears and two bears is one of my favorite people so yeah gt prospect two bears mod super sick got this random ss1 or ss2 don't remember i think this is the slinger one but uh yeah during sakura classic walnut serato and maple swords and then reverse uh versions of those two which was pretty sick at the time this one's pretty awesome it's pretty awesome a nice one to have in the collection it is beat it is oiled up from something i don't know what and i bought this from tiffany chu because tiffany chu had it beat up and was selling it for like 10 bucks. So I had to get it for history. You have to get things for history sometimes. <laughs> One of the purchases I do not regret. The only regret I have is that it costed money and I just bought a car and it didn't have a lot of money. But th this was an AE Clear Ben Harold TC mod with the Ben Harold one shape and some AE Clear, which is dope. I learned a lot of my trip taps on this shape, which I, this is freaking sick. I got good at trip taps because of this. I, I learned like trip tap juggle to bird on this, which isn't hard for a lot of people, but it was hard for me. And 
and honestly just like such a cool design with the goon circle thingy on it like it's so cool and it has like all the notes on it like and it has such good grain such a good nama i wish i played it more honestly uh, but i just have so many kanams i need to play and make videos on super awesome nama by ben harold and gt so sick i just recently did a video on both of these the ae pro model 2 which is super sick i love the colors that he chose this reminds me of an og leaf green nazora this lavender is a really cool color in the bamboo beach it's not maple it's different it's cool on a really cool shape these things are beautiful and I love these things a lot. And they just make me have fun with Kanam again, double big cup. It's just, it's cool. It does a lot of different things and you definitely need one cause it's just like a unique shape. So yeah. I got that OG perp Ben Harold mod on a really nice Ben Harold Ken right here. This thing is super, Super sick, and I really love playing this thing a lot. The Ben Herald one shape, at least the hand turn ones, are just like so chonky and so big. And I loved playing chonky and big shapes at one point in my life. This one now does not feel chonky and big because there are chonkier and bigger shapes. Super awesome colorway. I love this shape a lot. Love Ben. Ben's a cool dude. I got another Ben Herald, the Wu-Tang black and yellow one. This joint is super sick. This is such a cool kendama, and I love it a lot. Uh, same thing. Love the shape. Chonkiness. Cool stuff. This kendama I love, and I don't play it too much, but it's okay. This is that Huntsman GT1. Such a beautiful kendama right here. It's just like, like what even, like what even? I used to think this was ugly. And then I won this on the Two Bears contest in 2015. Um, and that was the Sakura Classic I went to before I went to the 2022 Sakura Classic. And he hand delivered this to me, which was super awesome. And then my friend bought a Stod mod back in the day and he didn't want the Ashtram because he didn't like playing natties. So he gave that to me for free and I set this up and that thing was so sick. Like this thing is super dope. So I'm super happy about this whole setup right here. One of my favorite setups right here. And this setup means a lot. It's one of my trophy kendamas. So yeah. Right here, Jacob Lowe Pro Mod, not Pro Model. This is a TC, the Jacob Lowe TC, the V2. Uh, the white one was super sick and then this black and yellow one is also super duper awesome this is actually my second one i had a first one and i was supposed to send it to a homie and then he never got it and i was really upset about that but this thing is super awesome i won this at like one of the san jose jams or something like that so this thing is super duper amazing and cool and awesome and shout out jacob Lowe, one of the coolest dudes ever got that og adrian the pro model so sick smaller cups compared to the new one and i got it ae cleared and he hand gave it to me at one of the san jose events this thing is super awesome and super just, just a piece of history for the homie me and adrian same share the same birthday we're both filipino and had to support the homie he's just down for life and i appreciate that he's down for life nick sod pro model his last pro model this one's actually special because my friend angelo i appreciate you angelo he bought this for me just because i wanted it he was like, dude, I appreciate you. I'm gonna buy this for you. And I was like, dude, you don't have to do that. The Legacy Stod mod, super duper sick. The Legacy logo right there, which is super sick. And then all the Koi stuff, the colorway on the Tom is sick. And the clear coat on it is amazing too. And I also, this one had pretty bad lunar bounce. So I had Quad make a bigger uh, balance hole on it. So yeah. Super sick Dama, love this Dama a lot. The BH2, my only BH2, I think. This BH2 right here is so dope. This BH2 is one of my favorite Kendamas. Just, I always wanted one of the, the you know, the Stripes and inspired BH2 dot things. And then it was so funny because when that came out, I was like, hey, have you ever thought about doing one with every single dot is a different color on the thing? And then he just looked at me and he gave me a smirk. And I was like, oh, I called it. And then he released it maybe a year later at battle. And I was like, oh, so this is the thing. He was like, yup. So I had to buy one and I love Ben. So this thing is super sick. Unfortunately, mine is bubbling kind of badly, which kind of sucks. So that's why I kind of like half play it. But honestly, I'm just gonna shred it and just wait till all the paint comes off. But this thing is just so pretty. Like it, you, you understand why I don't want to play this, right? Like it's such a cool thing and Ben's such a cool guy, so. Yeah, got this TC Roku, the Bumblebee one. This one is super sick, the black and yellow thing. I won this during like that time clock game where you like hit the chess time clock thing and you do a trick and you do it back and forth until the per other person runs out of time. I did this with Edwin. I think we did down sling and I won slightly, like I won very slightly. Edwin won the whole competition, so it really doesn't matter that he I beat him at a mini game, uh, but this is what I got from the mini game at Secure Classic 2022. Next up, I got this Teal mod. I got this in a trade with the homie Declan from SAC. He uh, wasn't the biggest fan of this shape, and I am a big fan of this shape, so I love this thing a lot. Teal, I just feel like whenever I talk to Teal, like my third eye pops out. Like he's just such a cool guy and is down for Dama so hard. And literally anything he does with Kanama, I just, I just appreciate it and love it. 
and it is so cool that he just exists. <laughs> so, uh, love you, T.O., love your pump model. This thing is super sick. It's awesome. Next up, I got this uh, Ben Harold sticky black and yellow Tama. I need to find, you know, I could set it up on that black and yellow splice, which would be super hard, but this is the Tama that he did when he sold, like, when GT sold, like, se separate Tamas and stuff. One of the cleanest thing, and I got it, like, in the trade with Declan for the thing I traded him, which was a mahogany GT1, which not a lot of were made. So, yeah. That, this thing is super sick. Last but not least, this is a gem right here. This right here is the 2019 Sakura Classic GT uh, E1. Uh, this thing is so pretty, just the clean white and pink Tama. And then, you know, that cherry blossom design at the top is hot as well. And then the cherry blossom on the handle is also very hot. Uh, I had a homie go to Sakura Classic when I couldn't because I think I had like a show or something in high school that I had to do. And he bought me one of these and I paid him back, obviously. But he bought me one of these so I could feel like I could be there. And um, I didn't sesh mine and I feel like I should. But also it's just kind of a display piece to show I still couldn't go to that freaking event after like five years. <laughs> Super awesome Dama. Love this Dama a lot. Let's do it for the memes. All right. And it's really funny that I'm following up this section after the GT section. But this is my first Kendama sponsor. Didn't really last too long. It was Ronin Kendama. Really controversial. They had a swoop and a wormhole in the damas now at the time as a kid you realize like oh dude they're doing something for they're doing a thing that i can't afford and they're making it cheaper which is super sick and now that i'm older i'm like yeah we could have done one of those things we definitely shouldn't have done the wormhole now granted the wormhole doesn't really get used anymore on anything um but we definitely shouldn't have done that but regardless this is my first ronin kanama these things at the time i used it so hard and i don't know why i wanted to get sponsored by this company so badly but yeah, it had like a little little swoop right there and everyone freaked out about that because we did it after GT and GT did it first or whatever. And then we, we got the little um, little uh, wormhole in there. But the, honestly, the shape isn't similar at all to GT1. This doesn't follow any of the, the things. The GT1 is kind of based off of an Azora with little modifications. This has a thinner sword and it has like really uh, like like stubby cups. Um, so yeah, this is just a natty one I seshed and then this is the Dama that got me on the team, which is really cool. So, and I kept only a couple of them. I sold my other two or three. Uh, this one's a Kaya Dama or Kaya Dama on a maple. This paint when it was new slash was heated up slash when I was beating it in was crazy good, like second to sour mash. And it had this like really cool pearlescent thing on it. And I love it so much. I put, I didn't want to mess up this Tama too much. So I kind of like swapped like different Tamas onto this Ken because this Ken was really honed. Uh, but yeah, I used thing for a long time. Also, you can kind of see in this big cup. I don't know if you guys remember Loon Attack. But Loon Attack was that like putty that you could put in your cups to kind of like weigh him down and stuff in like different places of the Ken. That's what that gray stain is. <laughs> um, but yeah, super awesome Ronin Kandam right there. And then I have a fresh one of these and you can get a better look at what a fresh one of these looks like. This thing is so pretty when it's fresh. Like, I'm so glad I kept a fresh one of these. Look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. It is like so pretty, all the different angles, all the different stuff. And it stays in here. It's good memorabilia for my first Konama company that I got sponsored by. Regrets, kind of, but it's okay because I was young and that company didn't last too long. So yeah, maybe I should do a story video on that. I should do a story video on that. All right, so we've hit an hour and hopefully this has cut down a lot. But this is the first part. My voice is super tired. Yeah, this is the first part of my Kendama collection. Hope you guys stay tuned for the next part of my Kendama collection. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and hit post notifications to be one of the first to watch the videos when they come out. And obviously, sharing the video goes a long way for the channel. I'm really excited to show you the rest of my Kendamas. This is only like, the fact that I have this much makes me feel like a bad person. But you know, when you do this, it's just, yeah, it's okay, right? <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.